Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is Steven Marcateros, and today we have some more epic stuff to create in our little city, or I guess uh, big city of Hamilton, now with a population of 81,000 people. The city has dramatically grown in size, and uh, we actually have some more territories to pick out, but we are also growing towards a megalopolis, which I guess is our uh, final goal, uh, because that's the last area we can get where we unlock every single land area available to us. Uh, I have no idea what some of this stuff is. I don't even... I don't think I've heard of some of this before. Like, uh, government offices. You need to find a more scrupulous hive of bureaucrats, bureaucrats and administrators. Average garbage piling, piling per building at least 40. But apparently we can build that. So, uh, yeah, I have actually never seen this before. The game has a very strange feel to it, like it was updated recently. And with the release of the disaster, um, you know, expansion pack, I would figure that, uh, yeah, they have... Uh, Overhauled a little bit of the UI to some extent. The numbers look different and the text looks different. I can't quite explain it. Everything just uh, looks a little bit more different. But on your guys' end, you are also going to see some things looking different too. Because I finally went in and played around with the OBS settings. And I actually got the game to look semi-decent uh, with recording before post. I mean, after post, it looks like crap anyway, because it's on YouTube. But before post, at least now it doesn't look super, super duper grainy. I actually have an example video to show that's probably uh, playing right now uh, of why good settings, uh, you know, directly relate to the quality of your YouTube video. Because if you've got your video settings right, then things look absolutely terrible. I have not looked at the transport infrastructure of the city in quite a long time, and frankly, I'm not actually sure I want to, uh, because looking at this, it doesn't look like something that can easily be sorted out. Uh, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of issues that need to be sorted in the city. I mean, mainly like this, like what is happening here? I mean, where are all of these people going? It's like they're getting off the interstate and then immediately getting back on, and they're just trying to avoid the Tunnel of Doom, which is, you know, probably you know, to be honest, what exactly what they're doing. And they only get off here and go right for some reason, because, I don't know, this intersection's overrated, or... I, I really have no idea sometimes. The, the game the game is puzzles me over why it does certain things. But, uh, yeah, last episode we were integrating this little district area thing. Apparently we're having garbage issues. Uh, yep, our incinerator capacity has been met. Uh, so we need to construct a couple more incinerators. Where do I build them? Uh, if I build them down here, they're probably never, ever going to actually... Uh, you know, get to pick up garbage anywhere. So I should probably build another little garbage collection area somewhere off to the side. You know, like maybe over on this hill. Uh, I think would be a good place because you can sort of get to everywhere you need to get uh, via that access way. And yeah, build the bridge over and then we'll match it down. And we'll try to build a little bit of an area over here where we can build some more garbage collection facilities. Maybe a little bit more services, you know, places uh, where people can't really get to. Say we need to build like a crematorium. Uh, we can build that right next door to <laughs> to the incinerator. You know, no reason, just uh, just to have that there, just in case. But yeah, that'll probably give better access, and then that'll also power that. We've got water, fantastic, done, awesome, epic. All right, so yeah, that is hopefully the garbage sorted out. Let me take a look at that production. Yeah, that should be the garbage sorted out. Hopefully, those trucks will actually get there because uh, they won't get clogged up on the eternal traffic jam that is downtown Hamilton because the city was not constructed for a massive highway infrastructure. Uh, not something that I took into account when I originally designed it. Actually, I don't think there was any original design of the city. It just sort of came to be like the way it is now. Uh, all right. No one has moved into our fancy area up there, but I didn't figure so because, uh, you know, just everyone else just really, really didn't seem like it was going to happen at any point. Uh, we can expand onto this area, though. Uh, we haven't touched on here too much. We could, uh, you know, get back, uh, add some more stuff. There's a decent highway access here. Uh, up to this area, there's also great highway access. But, uh, you know, generally, you won't get stuck in too much of a traffic jam if you're trying to come over this way. Uh, so let's try to build some of those quadruple roads. The weird thing was, when I started up this game today, is that I got some weird error message that said, like, the music could not be played correctly or something. And I did not understand what that meant because I don't have any... Uh, third-party, you know, music things and stuff. I do have mods. Obviously, that's how we're getting all these angles and all these fancy roads and stuff. Uh, but I don't have anything along the lines of that, so I was very, very confused when I saw that. So, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Sea Skylines has been acting kind of strange recently. Uh, but it's not really my place to ask uh, why the game is weird. Uh, I guess that's uh, more for the developers to ask why their game is uh, acting funny. Uh, I don't I don't really think I, I should have any amount of say in that. Oh, look at that nice little bridge. Oh, yeah, I guess I had to build that over there. 
Uh, yeah, we can build a lot of commercial zones uh, right along here because uh, it has good access to the highway. Uh, not fantastic, but, you know, good access. And people are using the bypass, right? Many of you said, like, oh, why are you building the bypass? There's one right here. You know what? This people actually uh, do use this bypass, like, quite a bit. Like, look at all the traffic coming across there. That's, uh, you know, that's pretty reasonable. They built a bypass right outside the town that I live in, and it probably has less people going on this at one time. So uh, I think that's pretty successful. It saves people quite a drive around the town. Uh, really cuts commute times down. Uh, and actually adds to, you know, what we were trying to do of uh, decre decreasing the commute time in the city. Uh, we might want to see if we can expand out towards the highway a little bit further than we've gone, because I know I wanted to keep it kind of to the side there, but if we actually were able to just bring this out, uh, say, like, all the way, uh, all the way, bro, um, we might fare a little bit better. Uh, we'll just keep the, uh, we'll keep the power lines as the infrastructure of the city, because, you know, like, heaven knows what'll happen if I blow that up. Like, next thing you know, there'll be some humongous power outage happening for no explainable reason. Uh, we'll keep that like that. Oh, these crematoriums are all constructed in the way. There's a police station right there. It uh, doesn't look like I can actually get under that in any way. So, looks like that little area right there is going to be the uh, the area that has stuff built in it. Unless I can figure something out real quick. That's uh, too close to an intersection there. And that is too. All these places are too close to an intersection. Darn. Okay, I guess we'll just uh, plant some trees there and call it a day. Oh, yeah, we can definitely get some more commercial zones in, uh, some more residentials. That kind of stuff all looks fine, all looks happy, all looks jolly. There we go. Slowing traffic issues, or sorry, garbage issues as well. We should not be having garbage issues at this point. I constructed that new facility. You should all not have any problems with garbage. Yes, yeah, see, they're finally coming back to collect. I guess I'll just uh, build a more expansive system. Since we do have $10,000 per hour uh, revenue, and we have $5.6 million in the bank, I think it's pretty safe to say that by doing this, we're not going to be uh, technically uh, blowing our budget by any means. And yeah, I mean, this intersection is pretty much, or this off-ramp is pretty much only used for these small areas and uh, the garbage then, which is fine. And I think that traffic jam has sort of died down in the city anyway. Yep, everything's flowing efficiently. Everything is moving along. Well, I mean, you know, this area has seen better days, but I, when hasn't it seen better days, to be honest with you? I mean, that's like uh, one of the most prominent features of the city is that uh, there's a humongous traffic jam between this circle and that off-ramp at all points. Uh, we really should have We really should have done something. The planning of the city really went awry at some point, and we never we never went on face. Oh, my God, cul-de-sac. There's people living in my cul-de-sac. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Cul-de-sac people. Oh, these people are legit. Okay. Uh, I gotta give him, like, a, like, a little, you know, like, you know, something nice. Something nice next to him. Uh, let's give these people over here something nice, too. Let's give them a, uh, basketball court right there. Look at that. Now they're all gonna be, like, rich and fancy, and they're all gonna be, uh, they're all gonna be living in their cul-de-sac. Oh, look at these nice little houses we got going on here. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Fantastic. Oh, these people got solar panels on their roofs. Oh, just the best. Just the best little cul-de-sac to live in. You got, like, a nice little backyard area here. You know, everyone can have their barbecues at. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be lit, guys. It, that's, that's lit. That's pretty fantastic. I'm not even gonna lie there. Uh, and then, yep, we got the freight train, all that kind of stuff coming through. Vroom, vroom, freight train. Transporting cargo to the cargo train terminal. Oh, okay, can we actually can we watch that happen live? Oh. Oh, we can click that for sure. Oh, man. First person view of this is epic. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm not sure how to control this. Look at this, guys. This is what Hamilton looks like from a freight train's perspective. Oh, man. We're moving. We're zooming fast. We are just zooming past. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at all those areas. Oh, the river's so cool. All right. Oh, this place really looks more like Gotham than I thought. <laughs> oh, man. This place is pretty decrepit, actually. Where does this freight train go? It's going to a terminal, but, I mean, where at? Let's see. So, it, oh, there's the new uh, incineration facility we just built. All right, so there's, um, this appears to be the highway right over here. Yep, there's downtownish area. Yeah, there's the freight, there's the freight station. There it is. I knew it existed. I knew it existed. I think it just ends there, yeah, it just ends. It doesn't need to continue. That's fine. Yep, it just disappears like that. Magic. Oh, that's fantastic, though. I really like that about these mods. Is you can you can really see like anything that's happened just by selecting uh, one vehicle. So say we wanted to uh, you know inspect the commute of uh, say you know okay, I guess this uh, this garbage truck going to the incineration plant. Well, I should probably actually get out of uh, 
frozen mode and say we uh, get, let me track let me track okay yep whoop, whoop, oh okay 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 actually oh I just remembered that I can use spacebar to pause on pause look at that I mean we are we are literally living the lives of the people of Hamilton right now I mean look at this would this not be the best job in the world to have to navigate this this ma massive oh my gosh oh this is awful oh my god what have I built this city is a nightmare Holy crap. There's like an aristocracy that lives there. There is like poor people everywhere. There's, you know, the streets are controlled by garbage trucks. There's no planning. A freight train runs everywhere. There's power lines that go through the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh. I mean, what, what is this ramp? What even is this ramp? Where are we right now? I have no idea where we are. We just did some U turn and we turned onto a different interstate. I am lost. Yeah, okay, so there's the aristocracy. I'm like, I'm pointing at my screen, but there's the, uh... Oh, that looks really fantastic from out here. Yeah, don't litter, please. I, I wouldn't assume they would like littering, considering they're a garbage company. Where are we going to pick up garbage at? Like, the middle of nowhere? I mean, I'm starting to get concerned here. Alright, alright. Okay, oh, uh, no, wait, what the heck? Oh, this is how you get into that aristocracy area. I didn't realize that ramp was so... Wow, this is terrifying. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. It's like a permanent, like, right-hand turn up like 100, like, 500 feet. End of this area, that's kind of nice, though. I mean, yeah, you can see all the people going along their uh, daily business getting stuck in traffic jams. But, uh, yeah, wow, that is, that is crazy. Okay, that is crazy. Sometimes you just have to be a citizen in order to understand what it feels like. You know, the needs of the people. Needs of the people. So what? Of sickness going, you know, we got lots of sick people going on here. Do we not have proper health care in our city? I feel like we do, but I, I keep seeing ill and dead people like everywhere I go. So I'm thinking we need to build crematoriums in like historic districts of the town. So, like, uh, you know, say like right here, like bam, there you go, crematorium right there, downtown for you. Uh, see, so we don't have any like over here either. We just, just not ex in existence. Like, we just didn't bother to build any when we built this, even though people die like everywhere. So, there we got one there. Uh, got a couple over here already that looks good looks pretty well managed but yeah there's there's illness there's illness police we're good besides this one building here uh the sunset residence dead person waiting for transport apparently that dead body was robbed recently hmm. yeah no lots of ill people I'm, I'm hoping that oh my god our population is dying what have we done what have we done why has everyone suddenly died okay okay city statistics wow okay that's our population eh Wow, I don't like these uh, these influxes. These influxes are terrifying. Birth rate, death rate, that's not going to help us. Especially that, uh, that up. Okay. Uh, yep, that's what's expected. Uh, that's what's expected. Remember when we used to have budget problems? <laughs> not anymore. Let's see, students. That would be a good indicator. Okay, increase in students. That's good. Education levels. All right, we're pretty darn smart. Employment. Um, all right, 96. That's that's around the uh, the natural rate. So that's That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not that's not too bad. We just need uh, more jobs and we need more people, and uh, that's how we become a metropolis, a growing, thriving metropolis. We also just need more space to uh, develop. Look out here, we never really developed too much. We could put a nice uh, off ramp from over here uh, going on, but we haven't. We have not done that yet so far. Uh, but let's try to do that. Let's uh, let's let's pack let's pack these sardines in. Let's let's get this done. Let's uh, let's do this, guys. Okay, uh, so yep, we can just run this out straight, like that. This is gonna be our brand new, brand new office district right here. Okay, this is gonna run like so, and then that's gonna go up and bridge across, like so. Okay, and then we'll put an on and off ramp there. Uh, that will be useful. Uh, I don't know if I wanna keep up this whole, uh, curve thing, though. That, that seems like quite, quite a difficult task to undertake, so, uh, I think we are just going to play it out straight from here. Hook that up. And then, you know, decide what to do with that later on. But That's the way That's the way we're going to get people to the city, though. That's the way we're going to get people in. Okay, I like how this is just a random solar power plant just chilling over here. Like, none of, none of it's... Not, it's none of my business, but, you know, it's cool. I like it. It's trendy. It's trendy to have a solar power plant in your backyard. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is going to be... This is gonna be prime development space for any new business, any new uh, residential complex, any of that stuff. 
want to move in. Uh, that, that's what that's going to be for. Did not feel like dealing with that turn right there. <laughs> it's just like, nope, not not my day for that. Not my day for that. Oh, we already got this all covered by water anyway. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow, this all appears to be in office anyhow. Okay. Uh, well, let's construct a bunch of new office. Let's get a bunch of people living here too so we don't have humongous traffic issues. Uh, since we got new people, we're going to need mo more commerce. And there. Done. And now we just give them time for them to move in and take uh, care of the services. We have no police department nearby. Let's build one. Uh, that'll keep them settled. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to have enough uh, elementary schools in the city, like, no matter what we do. It's just, it's just impossible to have enough elementary schools. But let's, let's build a couple more nearby. Public transit is pretty much uh, lost at this point. <laughs> It's a lost cause. A uh, city of 70,000 people would be like rebuilding Paris at this point, which I know is possible. It's been done in history, but I I don't think I'm that great of a mind. I don't think that I could do that without causing significant harm to uh, what we've already accomplished here. But yeah, look at this. Hopefully people start pour back in as we get these new areas all uh, built up and developed. Let's see. We can continue on that as they move in to build further areas. God, that police station has no power. Uh, yep. Yep, okay, and there we go, and there we go, okay, let's try, let's say, uh, let's come back here a little bit with that, it's gonna be a little bit iffy, but uh, I think we'll live, I think we'll live, okay, uh, what do we need more, we'll, we'll put some more offices in here, some more residential, chillin', pretty legit, and more offices to spread around, you know, up, down, in between. That's going to be a little bit of a problem right there. Uh, yeah, we need to have that for our on and off ramps. Okay. Let's get that out of the way right now. Okay. Right there. And right. Whoop. Right there. Awesome. These are looking like uh, legit ramps right now. As opposed to unlegitimate ramps, which are uh, imposters posters upon our system. There we go. Look at that. Nice on and off ramp for this new area. Hopefully uh, that'll allow people to move in faster, commute to their job faster. Uh, look, even this traffic jam has cleared up. The whole city running nice and smoothly now. However, at a population loss. Oh, and it appears that a random traffic jam has started right here as people did, have completely forgotten how to merge in traffic. There we go. It's uh, it stopped. I wonder if anybody actually even uses this or realizes what it's, what it's for. Yeah, I saw like one person use it. Yeah, see, some people get to their jobs through that way instead of taking this off or, you know, going some other way, you know, through the massive uh, infrastructure that basically is the city. People are like, wow, new jobs, fantastic, we can move into places. And I'm like, yes, that's good. That is good. Okay, uh, we have a whole area over here that we haven't touched yet either. Uh, let's see, that's, yeah, back there. Okay. All right, and let's see if we can get another one. Oop, that's going to be a bit close, but I think we'll be okay with that. We'll live. We'll live, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Can we build under that? Really? Just like that? Wow, that's pretty lucky. I don't. I would not imagine you could build under that normally. Uh, yeah, these people are just going to have to live with, uh, you know, being r literally right next to both a railroad and right next to a highway. All right, uh, what should we even construct there? I guess it's more office space in general. People are addicted to offices in this town. We gotta have our office space. Office space is essential to life. I mean, look at the offices moving in here. There's just huge money makers rolling around. Landmarks. What can we get for landmarks? A cinema. Ooh, that seems new. A government offices. Yes, we need some more government offices. Uh, but where do we construct them, though? Beautiful government offices in the city of Hamilton. Um, I'm not sure. We could construct them in this beautiful area. Uh, but then again, we'd sort of be violating the natural environment. Yeah, we could build it right around here, except the slope is a little bit too steep because of that hill I built. So yeah, we could build it sort of here off to the side. That'd be nice. All right, look at that. There are our government offices right on a uh, huge hill. That's fantastic, though, because, uh, you know, it represents that we're all about nature. We're all about that land. That's what we do. Administrative building. Look at all those people right there. What are they standing here for? What do you all want? Is there a... That was a bus stop right there. Why is there a bus stop there? What the heck? Who put a bus stop there? Who's it? What? What? Who built that? Did I build that? I did build that. Why is there a bus stop right there? I don't even know why. Who knows? 
This is such a confusing city. Oh, man, this... Oh, yeah, these bus routes have been screwed up. Oh, my. What... What is happening with this route? <laughs> not not even going to try to look at that anymore. As I said, pub public service in the city. It's, uh, it's beyond repair. We've also created this beautiful dark spot right on the hill that I completely forgot what happened. Oh, but the blemish is good. The blemish is good. I like the blemish. Okay. Um, what's next? Not sure. Oh, population is recovering. Now up to 72,000 people. We are jumping up and down all over the place as new people move in, new people move out. People can't... Oh, yeah. Lots of abandoned buildings. Lots and lots of abandoned buildings. This is sort of that influx period where people are just going to pour into the city. And then we might uh, pass a new milestone before everybody quickly dies off because they realize there's no hospitals in the city or the traffic is that bad. Yeah, I like how the traffic clears up when everyone dies or moves out. That's good. That's good. I like that. Oh, well, yeah. That looks like all we're going to do for today, guys. So thank you guys for watching this episode of City Skylands. Next episode, we're going to get up to uh, fixing this river a little bit. Uh, may result in a little bit more of a backup of the river by uh, cleaning this part here. Hopefully we can suck a couple more megawatts per hour out of the dam. I'm actually getting zero out of it right now. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines, my name is Steven Marcateros, and otherwise I will see you guys next time.